Thank you. Me too. strong humans and welcome to the studio my name is danielle and i'm the face and hands behind strong roots pottery i have a semi-private studio here at glaze ceramics which is located in mckinney texas i'm an instructor here and i teach beginning wheel throwing teaching was always something i wanted to do but the actual thought of doing it was pretty nerve-wracking to me and I'm just grateful to have the opportunity to teach in such a welcoming space. It's a comforting feeling to have found a ceramics community. That was something I craved for a while and Glaze has definitely become a second home to me. Okay, so I am getting my water prepared to throw. As you can see, my bucket is pretty dirty from the last throwing session. And since I'm throwing with a lighter clay body today, I'm gonna go ahead and get all that nastiness out. I'm being mindful that I am not leaving any clay in the sink and cleaning up behind myself uh, because you don't wanna be that person in the studio. Before I throw on the wheel, I am going to wedge the clay. This step is essential, but it can be pretty tiring on your body, especially your wrists. I like to weigh how much clay I'm going to use, especially if I'm throwing the same shape multiple times. A bat is convenient when you are throwing a large amount of clay. That way, once you're done throwing, you don't have to stress about picking up your wet piece and wrist warping it. I like to take my sponge and go over the bat to clean off any debris from the last session. The water also helps the clay stick to the bat. I am making a planter today. A goal of mine this year is to be able to throw big consistently. So I'm going to start by centering the clay by coning up and down. I'd say centering is the most crucial step because you want to set your piece up for success. So I like to take my time in this step before moving forward. Dropping and opening the hole is next, and here I'm just compressing the base to prevent from any cracks. This is my favorite part, pulling. Although it can be pretty challenging the more clay you add, but this is where your piece gets its height. Sometimes I forget to breathe during this step. Even after six years of doing it, I feel like breathing is going to mess up my pool for some reason so please don't be like me and breathe while you pull your walls Now it's time to shape my piece. I do this by taking my metal rib tool and pressing my inside hand into it. This allows the shape to be more defined and get all the slip off the outside for a smooth finish.
Once I'm done, I wire off the piece and that's it. I still need to throw the bases for these planters, but I'll cover these up in plastic so they'll be ready to trim in a couple days. I started this channel to serve not only as a pottery journey, but a personal one as well. Let me know in the comments what type of videos you want to see. And big thanks to you for watching this first one. I do have some more videos in the works, so subscribe if you'd like to follow to see what's up with me and what's next for Strong Roots Pottery. Until then, y'all stay strong, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.